104.5, the team or your home for Yankees baseball, but we're with Minnesota Twins great Joe Nathan. So I got to start off because we're home for Yankees baseball. I got to start off with what was it like pitching against the Yankees? I know it didn't go the way you wanted, but what was it like pitching against the Yankees in the playoffs? Uh, you know, always fun. You know, we uh, unfortunately were, we had to face them quite a bit in the first round of the playoffs um, during their heyday, you know, when they were playing probably the best baseball they, they have in, in that decade. So, um, you know, unfortunately for us, we had, a, we had a good team. We thought we had a chance to, you know, to, to overcome that and take them over. But, again, it was one of those special times for the Yankees when they were playing really good baseball and, and uh, you know, but always fun. The atmosphere is the best. That's what, that's what you grow up uh, as a kid wanting to do, wanting to play for, and, and those situations are fun. Joe Mauer, of course, Minnesota, great. Uh, of course, from that series, there was that foul ball controversy. We won't get into that, but uh, <laughs> two feet fair, two feet fair. <laughs> um, so, Joe Matt, what is what is he? Well, how he was as a con was he consummate teammate? Like, obviously, we feel that way looking in. But from somebody on the inside, what was Joe Joe Mauer like as a teammate? Uh, just constant professional. You know, he's one of those guys that uh, always did the right thing on the field, off the field. Um, you know, you loved having him as a teammate. He he did whatever he could to win games. Uh, true gentleman too off the field uh, look forward to this year going back in June to to celebrate his retirement and and his accomplishments so it's going to be fun to go back and and uh, reminisce uh, with him and and former teammates uh, and uh, like I said you know we're good we're good <laughs> one of those guys that uh, that uh, you just love being around not just on the field but off Mariano Rivera is the first unanimous closer to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, or for anyone inducted into the Hall of Fame. But what does someone like Mariano Rivera mean to you? A uh, guy that I always looked up to, guy that I always uh, tried to tried to kind of mimic and and be like. You know, I, I feel like, you know, for me, he was he was somebody that I I followed because, you know, he wasn't a big rah rah guy. Uh, you know, he didn't save games and and go crazy about it. It was you know, save a game, get off the field, do it again tomorrow. And, and, he, and he stayed calm and, and, and did it as a true professional. So I tried to tried to follow in his footsteps in that way. No Fernando Rodney. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, we both didn't have, have yeah. that, uh, have the bow and arrow. Not saying it's a bad thing. Right. Some guys like it. Uh, some guys, you know, th you know, kind of strive, thrive on that stuff. So uh, not a bad thing. But for me, it was, it was more to kind of follow what he did. But Mariano Rivera, Trevor Hoffman here today. They got nothing on your save percentage that they retired with. You had the, the highest uh, save percentage with 250 saves. Uh, so, what does that mean to you? Uh, you know, it, it's it's the one thing I got on those guys. But uh, <laughs> to be honest, I I, I would have loved to. You know, I got started a little later than than those guys did, so I didn't have the chance to to uh, to put the years in. But mm -hmm. um, you know, for me, it was. Those guys were, were my idols. Those guys were my heroes. And, and just uh, to even be named in the same sentence with them is, is an honor for me. Lastly, I just wanted to ask you about someone like Craig Kimbrell. Obviously, there's a contract situation. We won't get into that. What can he bring to a playoff potential team right now? Uh, it's obvious. You know, I think there's, there's a number of teams right now that, that are in that bubble situation where, you know, he's going to be a huge help if he's if he's able to come back and get ready for a season. Uh, that's that's going to be the big question mark now. It's not just who's he going to sign with, but will he be ready to roll, and how long will it take him to get back into that com into the competitive juices? So, um, you know, but like I said, there's shoot a number of teams right now that I think are are on that fence that he can he can really put them into uh, into contention. Joe, thank you very much for a few minutes. Thank you.